stainless steel straws. Mm-hmm. And then what I also do is I also have my water bottle all the time. Yeah. I love this water bottle. It's the best. So I think it's just kind of thinking of ways when you leave the house, how can I just reduce that trash a little bit? It doesn't have to be hard. I'm all about those simple steps that you can take to move the needle forward to just reduce the amount of waste that you're creating. Another one too is maybe growing some of your own items. Buying a plant or an herb garden can do some good as well. Well, you know, I don't have the biggest green thumb, but <laughs> I do love herbs. I do love fresh herbs. So what I do, what I'm going to be doing this um, coming spring and summer is probably going to be growing kind of my own little herb garden just to get started. But it's just a great way to introduce the kids to the earth, to the soil, growing your own food instead of thinking, oh, I need basil or I need a tomato. Oh, I'll just run to the grocery store and get it. Imagine being able to say, hey, Susie, can you go outside and grab that fresh tomato that we grew together, that we put our hands in the dirt and, and created together? And even if it's not you growing it, you can support local as well. Maybe go to some of those local farmers markets or those um, you know, local growers that are doing exactly that. Absolutely. I am 100% on board with supporting local, especially during the last year when a lot of businesses have been hit hard, especially local businesses. So I'm all about going to my local coffee shop and bringing my mug with me. I am all about um, going to that local garden shop. I don't even know what to call it, garden shop, and getting a plant instead of going on the internet and getting it shipped from a different state. Like going locally and supporting those local places and plants are amazing for your house. They are amazing. They help clean your air. Um, You know, we're often, we live in, um, we can live in a very toxic area, meaning that, you know, we're surrounded by a lot of toxins and the plants can help just clean that air. And then you go to a local nursery and get a local plant by supporting that local business. Um, Last but not least, just open those windows, get some fresh air, (laughs) get, get that good air going in the house. Yeah, for sure. And it's, you know, leading in from the plants is our indoor air quality can be three to five times more toxic than our outdoor air quality. So once spring hits, open up those windows, get the air moving, get fresh air, open up your lungs, get a plant and just breathe in clean air. Well, we have so many activities now that we can try (laughs) not only through this month, but going ahead, like you said, maybe we can uh, take you, for example, and make Earth Day every day in our lives with these small changes. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We're going to post your tips again up on our website. That's roadshow.com.